Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike and it's time for us to get into another music reaction. Alright guys, so we got some more AHA back on the channel in the same night. Uh, we got another song from My Minor Earth, Major Sky. This is the second track off that album, Little Black Heart. We're going to check out, I guess, this 2019 remastered version. So uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a double header on this one. Uh, I guess I'll think about that. But uh, let's just talk about the uh, what I saw in the lyrics real quick. Um, Sounds like this is a sad one. It sounds like it's about feeling lonely again and about depression, maybe. Uh, but it does seem like there's some hope in the song as well. Someday we will shine like the moon in the morning, like the sun when it's dawning. So uh, while being sad, it sounds like there's at least the person, the narrator, sees a way out or sees has hope. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, uh, let's jump in. Here we go. Little Blackheart. I don't know if it can top, I don't know if this can top what I just heard with the first track, Minor Earth, Major Sky, but here we go. Beautiful guitar. I like the tone. I like the treble there. I never saw sunlight. This one's uh, quite different. I've not even really heard them use this kind of electric percussion before. Raindrops on my window. I can't tell them apart. Like a few things were given. In my little black heart. This song is very 2000s also. Not an insult. You say it's getting better. Okay, let me just talk about this for a uh, moment here, collect my thoughts. I think we just heard two verses and two choruses now. Um, but great song so far. Way different vibe than Minor Earth, Major Sky, the song. Uh, this one is kind of toning things down. It's pretty calm, but it's also dark. You know, just like Minor Earth, Major Sky, it has that same darkness to it. And I mean, he's even saying darkness in the song. That's actually my favorite part is the end of the choruses, the way he's... Um, you know, vocalizing the, the words there, but I never felt darkness. Uh, I just like the way it, it uh, plays plays out with the, with the music there at the end of the chorus. Let me see if we can catch that one more time. You say that sounds so beautiful. Yeah, um, like I said, this one's quite different. Um, I do like this. I am thoroughly enjoying it so far. Not as awesome as Minor Earth, Major Sky. You can't, it's hard to top that, guys. That, uh, that the song was a powerhouse. But I, I get the place that this song has, uh, it, you know, I in their catalog. I, I like it. I've not quite heard them do percussion like this. That percussion does sound pretty uh, 2000s, and so does that little... Uh, stroby other little keyboard effect they're using there the wah, 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 that thing that was like a horrible sing job of, of what I heard if I hear it again I'll point it out but um, again that's not a complaint I can just totally tell the era that this came from uh, great so sounding song so far let's keep going this is a great uh, riff too those guitars just sound so beautiful. Someday we will shine like the moon in the morning, like the sun Whoa. when it's dawning. Yes, the sun. This is not 
not a, a note progression I was expecting. Oh, that acoustic with those strings. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hear something on the keyboard, like a just a clean synth, like a bass kind of note. It's just constant, and it sounds so good. Just a constant boom, 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 boom. That sounds so good with everything else that's happening. There's a lot of beautiful melodies happening above this. But that bass line anchoring it down, it sounds so good. Yeah, there it is. It's so loud, at least on these headphones. This is my favorite part of the song so far. Oh yeah. Keep it going. It's getting louder. Oh. Went long like enough, I guess. There's that sound of, I'm sorry, there was that little strobe sound in the background there. That's what I was talking about earlier. And a few things ignore. You say it's getting better. Yeah, this song is a vibe, as the kids would say. It has a specific mood to it. My little black heart. That acoustic guitar is so beautiful, man. Wow. All right. Oh. Uh, aha, little black heart. Yeah, I do like this song. It just, it can't follow Minor Earth Major Sky after hearing that. It's kind of weird because that is the second song on the album that does, in fact, follow it. But, um, it's yeah, I just got done listening to that. So it's, it's so hard to look at this completely objectively. This is a good song. Don't get me wrong. It's just, I'm coming off of being super high from that song and, and a little bit more somber now. But, uh... I did thoroughly enjoy this one. This was a great track, so much so that I think I do want to check out the um, uh, live at Val Hall version as well. But uh, yeah, this is quite a dark song, and um, while it does have some hopefulness in the the lyrics, it doesn't really quite. I don't feel like that's conveyed in the music. Maybe on that weird piano sound uh, solo thing they did. Maybe at that point was the hope, because that part did seem a little bit more like uh, musically, like the sun was shining a little bit brighter on that part. But uh, yeah, excellent song. It's a, a mood song. I feel like it's most effective uh, when, when you're upset. You know what I mean? Like I could listen to any kind of music at any time, but that's the kind of song that I would want to hear. Like if I was like not in the best mood, it's just kind of a, a relaxing song, but yet almost like self-deprecating in the sense that like you, you you're upset and you want to be you know you want to talk about how upset you are you know what i mean um 
Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this Live at Valhall version. Uh, I guess we'll go with this one here. Here we go. <laughs> Yamaha. That's the kind of guitar, acoustic guitar, both me and my girlfriend have. We both have a Yamaha acoustic. I never saw sunrise burn as bright. Never felt darkness like I feel it tonight. You say it's getting better. Okay. Say it's all right. Dang. But I, never felt dark I thought he was wearing an extreme V-neck, but like it's just it's just unbuttoned. Oh boy, I just realized something. This this song kind of plays like uh almost like sort of like lounge music or jazz or something. And I couldn't really tell with all the, uh, you know, electronic synth percussion stuff happening in the original uh, studio version. But in the, the way they're playing it here, yeah, I can kind of see the roots of how this was written. Black yeah, like you could hear this version in like a, an old black and white detective movie or something. Raindrops on my window. Totally. Wow. Oh, I love that bass line too. You say it's getting better. You say it's alright. Okay. But I never felt darkness the way I feel tonight. Little black heart. Man. I'm glad I checked this out. This is quite a, a, a reimagining of it. The note progression on this bridge part, it's still throwing me off. It's quite unusual. Yeah. There's that weird sound again. Yeah. Oh yeah. I like that effect he had on his guitar there. Little staccato. -y. Yeah, man. Raindrops on my window. I said I this is a reimagining earlier, but this could have been the original. This could have been the first thing that they came up with. Things forgotten. And my little black heart. You say it's getting better. This is actually...
Yes. Awesome, man. Yeah. This is a good song. This is uh, really well written, too. Aha, uh -huh, little black, little black heart, live in the hall. Um, this song is, um, I could see how people could, how this might not be on the forefront of everyone's like, you know, the majority of people's favorite aha songs. But the more I think about it and, you know, hearing it a second time and hearing this version, um, this is like a really well-crafted song. This is, it's like a masterfully written song. It's very artistic. It's beautiful. There's a lot of parts in this that are pretty intricate. You know, this, this one took time. And they really came up with some beautiful melodies and not just beautiful melodies, but they got this song to, to groove along. You know, it has a nice flow to it. Um, a lot of different elements in it. And I really do appreciate this one, especially after the second time. I bet if I listen, keep listening to it now, I'm going to start liking it even more and more and more. But uh, yeah, this one is really beautiful. This live version in particular, uh, I was just saying earlier, I don't know if it made sense, but... I was trying to, what I was trying to say was, uh, I, first I said this is a reimagining, this version. But what I was trying to say is this may have been the version that they very first came up with when they conceived of this song. And then they decided to change it. Maybe the producer in the studio said, hey, let's make this more modern to the times of 2000. And they turned it into that. I don't know. But I do like this version more. This one, just for me, it makes me think of like, lounge music, a little bit of jazz kind of stylings, black and white detective movie kind of jam right here. Uh, awesome song though, really good song. And uh, just, I can't find any other better way to say, uh, to say about this song, except to say it's very well crafted. It's just such a beautiful song. And I came to, I came to realize that in the very last little part where he was playing that piano riff, that dun, 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 that part. So beautiful, man. Um, but yeah, I think I said everything I need to about this one. Uh, another great listen from the uh, Minor Earth Major Sky album. Uh, quite different from uh, the first track. So uh, yeah, I, you know, I'm happy with this. This was a really good song. Um, I'm going to wrap this up, but uh, if you guys are still here, thank you once again for checking out another uh, doubleheader with me and for checking out some good music with me. If you have any other AHA, song, AHA songs or any other artists you want me to check out, please let me know in the comments, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.